All right, guys. Well, I'm back today with a really cool product from Mira Safety, and it's a first for the channel. We're looking at a gas mask, and this is not a gas mask I picked up at a flea market or at a military surplus store or even a surplus gas mask online. This is a brand new military and police grade CM7M gas mask made by Mira Safety. They have two main options for their gas mask, but this particular one was designed for shooters. They reached out to the channel and wanted me to try it out, and I was honestly pretty excited because I've never really considered shooting in a gas mask. I believe that would require a lot of attention and detail to design to make a gas mask that was actually suitable for shooters to use with an AR-15 and a handgun in a dynamic situation. So I was really excited to see what Mira Safety did with this shooter's directed gas mask. So I have almost no experiences with gas masks. So I did a lot of research and I did a lot of reading up about this particular mask. And really the main thing I did was shoot in this gas mask because I wanted to see if it was actually compatible with shooting a rifle and a handgun. But before we talk about its performance and compatibility down at the range, let's talk a little bit about gas masks in general. A lot of you guys are familiar with respirators, but respirators are a completely different application than what this can do. This truly is a military and police grade gas mask. And on their website, it talks about this mask in combination with this particular or any other suitable filter actually protects the face and breathing organs against the effects of toxic gases, aerosols, vapors, biological agents, and radioactive particles in a wide temperature range. Something like this truly will protect you from anything thrown your way. Again, a lot of other of those military surplus gas masks do the same thing, but they aren't set up for a shooter, or they're practically impossible to put on, or you don't trust the integrity because they are old as dirt. So something like this truly can save your life or prevent you from getting that tear gas or other chemical agent in your eyes, nose, and mouth, preventing you if you're a military law enforcement from doing your job, or a civilian from protecting yourself in a vital situation. The mask itself, as I demonstrated in the intro, is very nice because it's got this mesh piece in the back with five straps that are completely elastic and adjustable that pull tight and seal to your face. Now I have a beard and for this to work correctly to the specifications, I would have to be clean shaven. But my main focus on today was just to demonstrate the potential and features of this gas mask to my viewers because I think this is cool and I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. This particular mask actually has a cap on one side and you can switch the filter from either side. Since this is set up for a shooter, you're going to have to pick your off dominant and you're not really going to be transitioning from shoulder to shoulder with your rifle. So I put it on the opposite side that I shoulder my rifle and I can actually shoulder my rifle. You can also put two, I guess, if you felt like it, but then it makes it really incapable of using a shoulder-mounted weapon. Something to consider. Mirror Safety also talks about the amplification of the voice in their gas masks, which is pretty slick if you want to communicate with others. Also, it has a drinking attachment that you can actually drink in contaminated areas, which is great. If you happen to be standing for long periods of time, hours and hours and hours, I can imagine this would get hot on a bright sunny day, so it's nice to have the option to drink in contaminated areas. The price on this mask runs about $230 and then you're gonna to have to buy your filters which run about $70 to $80. I'll add links for all this in the description below. But let's talk about its shootability down at the range and if it really does work with rifles and can you actually hit your targets while wearing this thing. So right off the bat, the first thing I did was test this mask without any type of hearing protection, eye protection, or ballistic helmet and it was fairly easy to shoulder the rifle. You are gonna have to tilt your head slightly sideways and look out your dominant eye. You can leave both eyes open to get larger peripheral vision, but if you start trying to close one eye or two eyes, you're gonna get this weird gap in between there, so I found it best just to leave both eyes open and kinda of tilt your head sideways. It will take some practicing to shoulder a rifle with this gas mask, but once you've done it about five or 10 times, it almost becomes second nature while you're wearing it, and it's actually really easy to acquire a red dot mounted on top of an AR-15. An AK-47 might be slightly more challenging because it's not a bright dot that's elevated off the stock. We may try that in the future. But for those standard shooters who are actually mounting optics on their AK or AR-15s, I would suggest that. It actually works really well without any type of hearing protection or helmet. 
With the addition of hearing protection, you still had to shift your head in the same manner, and it was slightly more uncomfortable, but not that big of a deal. I believe it really has to do with how low profile your hearing protection actually is. And with some of the Peltors and low profile headphones, you won't have any problem mounting and shooting a rifle with a gas mask and hearing protection. Moving along to the ballistic helmet route, because a lot of military, law enforcement, and different types of police departments will wear ballistic helmets in a ride type scenario, and they want to know if their gas mask is compatible. This is a revision high cut helmet from RTS Tactical, and I've got a full review and kit overview of this and some RTS Tactical body armor. So go check that out if you're looking for a high value ballistic helmet. I've got coupon codes and I'll add all that information in the description below. I had to remove the front pad out of this ballistic helmet and I loosened up the tensioning in the back and I could actually get the helmet to fit correctly over the gas mask. And you don't need eye protection because the eye protection is already built into the gas mask, obviously. So the hearing protection on these, I've already done a review of these side folders, they fold down perfectly and go over the gas mask. So everything works as it should. And I can honestly say this was very impressive while shouldering and firing a rifle. I also found shooting a handgun very easy with this mask. About the only detriment to your overall ability when you're wearing this mask is to look down at your plate carrier while everything is set up. I find this part bumping against the plate carrier itself, which I didn't have that problem if I was just bare chest, no carrier whatsoever. But with the addition of the carrier, and while looking down, it was hard to see what was on the front of my carrier, but muscle memory kicked in and it was easy to pull mags out of the carrier without looking. Same for reholstering. Kind of that peripheral vision below these eyes is a little bit difficult. But under stressful scenarios with the timer and the smoke grenades going off down at the range, I could easily make my hits even at 50 to 70 yards, no problem whatsoever. Was I a little bit slower than without a gas mask? Yes. But it was definitely manageable and you could practically defend your life with a rifle or handgun while wearing this mask. In summary guys, this is a legitimate gas mask that will protect you from a variety of chemical and biological as well as radioactive elements. Check their website for a list of what it can actually stop. I can absolutely recommend this and experiencing this gas mask as a shooter, I can say it lives up to its name because Every other awkward gas mask I've ever put on is just a challenge to see and move and apply, let alone actually engage a target at a distance and make effective shots. If you're a military and law enforcement, this is great for you. Maybe you're in the media and you want to record some of those riots and events that are happening across the country and across the world, but you don't want to be affected by those chemical elements that are being dispersed. Something like this is great because it allows you to be nimble. Or if you're just your average civilian and you want to step up your prepping and preparedness above and beyond your average person, something like this is far superior than one of those surplus old style gas masks. This is a modern day gas mask that truly can come in handy in an emergency situation to help protect your life. Again, all the information for this mask and filters will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.